Gary, let's be honest, it's not where we thought you'd be at this stage of the season, but you must be pleased with the turnaround in form the boys have shown in the last six weeks. Yes, I think we've been the best performing Super League team of the last uh, third of the season, uh, which is obviously in stark contrast to the first two thirds. But yeah, we've, uh, we're improving and going into a crucial phase of the season now. Uh, the Super 8 is not where we wanted to be, but we are there and uh, we don't underestimate the challenge and, uh, and looking forward to all the games. Yeah, looking forward to all the games. You came out a couple of months ago, you said, look, the club's not in crisis. I think everyone was thinking, oh, are you sure? Are you sure? You always had every faith in, in the guys to turn it around and they have done it. Yeah, I mean, we needed to get players back in the team and that's what's happened. Uh, it's no coincidence and our results have improved as a lot of our key players have come back into the team. So, yes, I know we're probably the strongest now that we've been at any other stage of the season. And uh, we're going to need to be because, as I said, we've got seven really big games and we're pleased to have four of them at Headingley. Uh, and they get to be playing against such as Featherstone Rovers and going to Post Office Road where we've not been for 16 years and uh, against Batley where we've not been for 30 odd years uh, they're going to be big occasions actually and they're going to throw up a different type of challenge and of course I think the four Super League teams that's all competing are, uh, are all good sides and one of them is going to be in the sudden death game so everything to play for Yeah it is everything to play for and I guess the fact that you are Leeds and everyone always wants to beat Leeds stands you in good stead for this because you are going to be the scalp that so it's certainly the championship clubs want to take. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we've got seven cup finals and the players and the coaching staff are under no illusions about that. And that's what makes it quite exciting. And looking at then obviously you've got this link up now with Featherstone. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and how you foresee it working? Well, that's been outstanding. Uh, I think uh, that's delivered everything that we hoped it would in terms of giving a, a real experience for our young players to be able to gain great experience playing in games like they played at the weekend and enhancing their development. It's obviously doing Featherstone Rovers a favour as well. Uh, and so now as we reach this crucial stage, uh, we made our intentions known before they played Bradford Bulls last week. So three of our players, Josh Walters, uh, Luke Briscoe and... Uh, uh, Jason, Jordan Baldwinson will all be playing for Featherston until the end of the season they'll all be available to play against Leeds Rhinos and they're not able to come back and then we've got other players who qualify under dual, reg, uh, uh, dual registration uh, requirements in that they've played at least three times for Featherston they'll be available uh, on, a, uh, a, a, on an assessment basis that will be decided by uh, the respective coaches John Sharp and Brian McDermott and how, how important is it for your young guys that they get the chance to play? Because the championship now, the standard and level seems to be going up every year. Absolutely invaluable, you know, for our young players to be playing in the games like the Bradford Bulls and uh, for the Snowers game on Sunday and the week before at Halifax and the week before that at Batley. You know, that is absolutely the right environment for these young players to develop. And it's priceless, really. And, uh, and so, yeah, that, that sort of ticks that box. Have you been surprised by the level of support that has remained? Because it seems to have got bigger and better, the support throughout the season, right when the guys have needed it. Yeah, the, the Leeds Rhinos' attendance has developed up this season uh, and uh, the fans have been great. And, uh, you know, it's been a really difficult season. It's thrown up a, a challenge that we've not had before. Uh, but uh, you know, we'd like to think we're coming through the other side now. Uh, the fans have been great. Everybody within the club has been really so solid and strong. And, uh, and now we're going to try and finish the season with a flourish. I know you've got business to take care of in the next seven rounds. But after that, I guess you can't wait to get started again and, and regain what you will class as your rightful position. Well, that's up to us, isn't it? But uh, yes, I mean, all, all the focus now is on the next seven games. And as I said, we want to finish the season with a flourish.